everybody welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews so today we will be taking a look at the Mechanic Studio MS-27 Poison aka G1 Octane so let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure so let's get it on man let's go but before we take a look at the figure itself it's always nice to take a quick look at the packaging so you have a nice beautiful image there of Poison aka Octane in his robot mode and what is this the schmutz on the box what's the schmutz Urgh, schmutz anyway you have the the tanker truck mode you have the cargo plane mode you got mechanic studio logo right there MS-27 and the uh, very schematic image uh, very schematic uh, uh, it's the same image but very schematic style going on here yeah poison uh, poison it's gonna poison me and you have the uh, uh, the gray grayscale prototype of their uh, their Thunderbolt aka Blitzwing uh, it is being sold out uh, it's being sold right now so maybe in the future I get I would get this I don't know because it looks really good I will say um, yeah poison in his robot mode right there yeah the uh, the obligatory product shot right here three models free to change Yay. Um, cargo plane, tanker trucks, trucks. It's one truck. Why trucks? Trucks. What? What the heck? Um, uh, yeah, the uh, a bio right here. He is an elite worker, good at communication, but very timid, high EQ. Sure. Um, and you got these words right here saying there are color aberrations between the product images and the material objects. For the color of the products, please refer to the material objects. Sure. Um, yeah, weapons. Um, although he only comes with one weapon. Weapons. One weapon. <laughs> Frightened head. Sure. Yes. And this image, same image right here, like the button on like on the front of the box, and and uh, that is pretty much it for the packaging itself. And here we have the Mechanic Studio MS-27 Poison, aka G1 Octane, fully transformed into his tanker truck mode and uh yeah i really do like the truck mode for this figure it looks really good it's nice and solid um but yeah uh one thing that i really don't like is that this section doesn't want to sit flush i i don't know why or else i'm doing something wrong i have no idea why this doesn't want to, this doesn't want to sit flush this yeah it it don't it don't make sense uh this side is good but this side is ugh, it's sticking out like a sore thumb I, I, I don't know I don't know why this side doesn't want to sit flush but oh well it is what it is but it still looks good still looks pretty good I will say nice and solid and uh, yeah pretty cool uh, he has some nice rolling wheels so he can definitely roll as well anything should I do like that a nice silver paint for the smokestacks nice uh, metallic blue paint for the windows and windshields and a uh, nice silver paint for the grill right there. Nice silver paint right here from the sides. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good, I will say. Very, very nice and simple. I do like it, yeah. Now, truth be told, this is actually my first Octane figure. Yeah, my first Octane. <laughs> Doesn't matter where it comes from, but it's just my, it's, it's my, literally my first Octane figure. I've never had an Octane figure before this. Never got the Titans Return Octane. No, never got that one. I only have this one. Yeah, it's my first Octane figure. Yep. Um, but anyway, um, he does come with a gun. So he comes with uh, his uh, his natural gun right here, which is pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. And there's a little post right here. There's a port on the side right there so you could store the, uh, the gun on the truck mode. Uh, the instructions never said anything about weapon storage, but this is just my guess. So... Yeah, so you can store it right there. Hey, hey, it's storage. If you want, if you want something to store right there. You can only store it in truck mode. You can't really store it in jet mode, and we will get down to that in a little bit. So, um, yeah, there you go. That's the weapon storage for the vehicle mode, and uh, yeah, it's, it's simple, it's basic, and then nothing all that, nothing, uh, nothing all that, uh, nothing all um, that amazing. It's a legend scaled figure, so yeah. But, um, yeah, it, it looks pretty good, I will say. I, I do like the truck mode quite a bit. Um, 
this is pretty successful in my opinion. Uh, anyway, so just for a quick size comparison, I'm gonna bring in the uh, Kingdom Core Class and Megatron right here, so you can see how they scale with one another. And as you can see, uh, this figure is definitely a small little figure. It's definitely smaller than uh, Megatron's uh, Megatron's tank mode, like, as you can see. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's definitely uh, on the small side, so um, there you go. There it is. That's that for that comparison right there. And I think we're done. I think we're pretty much done with the truck mode itself. Now let us transform uh, Poison, aka Octane, into his plane mode. So to get into plane mode, it's pretty simple. You want to untab the wings right here. You want to untab uh, from the arms like so. Untab that. And you want to flip this panel down just like so and just bring this up a little bit and there we go like that like so and do the same thing on your side untab the wing like so just like that and just bring down this panel and just bring this up a little bit so it's a uh, it's lined up properly so there we go and just raise this up raise that up and leave that for now so now um what you want to do is you want to take the arms right here just bring them out bring them out a little bit there we go hey there's his head there we go there's his head um, there we go so you want to take uh, this section right here just bring this down and you rotate it around just like so just bring that up and you want to take uh this section right here flip this out this is going to be the tail fin and you want to take this take the side right here just bring this out there is a post we go into this port right here. Just make sure you plug it in. Plug it in. There we go. Plug that in. And do the same thing on the other side. Rotate it around. And just plug that in. Just like so. And there you have the back of the jet mode uh, done and ready. So now what you want to do is you want to split the legs for now. Just like so. And uh, like split, 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 there we go. So split, just bring down this panel, just like so, and just bring all of this out, like so, and just rotate that around, just like so, and we have that done. So now, uh, so first you want to take the waist and uh, rotate it 180, so just rotate it 180, just like so, and there we go, actually I need to, uh, zoom out a little bit more so you can see what I am doing right here so there you go now you can see what I'm doing so now uh, do the same thing on the other leg so just take this bring this down bring this up and just rotate that around 180 just like so and there you have that section all done but there we go so now what you want to do is to bring this step bring the section down and you want to take the feet and just rotate it around, just like so. It looks like that. There we go. And uh, raise the arm up. Raise the arm up. Bring this back. So you have the clearance to bring all this in, just like so. Just like that. And there you have one side all done. And do the same thing on the other side. Just bring this down this hinge and just rotate the feet around so that this tab is facing towards that slot right there. And just bring all this around. Just bring that up. And then you can tap everything together, just like so. There we go. Like that. Make sure the tab, make sure this, this tab uh, goes underneath these two white panels right here, just, just underneath that. There we go. And I think we're almost done. Just need to tap the feet together. Which can be a little bit of pain in the butt to do so. So um, yeah, it, it 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 it's a little bit of a pain to get them tabbed together. Which is yeah, it's a little bit of a chore. A little bit of a chore. So um, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'll be right back. All right, I got it. I got it tabbed together. Yeah, this is yeah that <laughs> yeah that was, that was a pain in the butt to do so. But oh well, it is what it is. I I got it done anyway. So just bring the arm down like so so just rotate this around like so and you want to make sure that this tab will tap into the slot right there 
and this tab tab into a slot right in there. So just take this. I'm gonna make sure that this is tabbed in first. Make sure that that tab goes into that slot first. Goes into that tab. There we go. And then take this this section right here and just tab that in. If I can do so. Another pain in the butt. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Woo! Bear with me, people. Bear with me. We're almost done. We're at the home stretch. Okay. Okay, there we go. And I think that tabs in well enough. So there we go. Just tab it in, just like so. And do the same thing on the other side. You're almost done. Bring this down like so. And that will just tab in right there into that slot. Right there, just tab that in. Like so. And just bring this up until you tab in that tab into the slot. Right there, just tab that in. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo! We are done. So there you have Poison, AKA Octane, fully transformed into his cargo plane mode. And, um,. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> it's 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 decent enough. It's it's not a great looking chat mode, I will say. It's it's yeah, it's not great. Um one thing I really don't like is that this section right here, like the wheels are blatantly visible and I honestly don't like that. It's just it's it looks weird and very unfinished and yeah, it is unfinished. It's like it's so not clean and yeah I, I uh, this is my one main critique about this figure that this part of the jet mode yeah I don't like that section I really don't like this section but the uh, the the other parts of the jet mode it, it looks decent enough uh, definitely definitely could have been better but oh well this is what it is but I do like the uh, the gray paint on the sides right here to make to make it look like he has windows so that's pretty cool and you got the gray paint the dark gray paint on the on the cockpit section right here as well. And you have the wings, you have long wings, and you can position however however you want. You can make it straight like that, or you can make it angled like that if you want to. So I prefer to make leave it angled, so yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, it definitely looks decent enough. It looks decent, so yeah, it's not great. It's not a great jet mode, not perfect, so yeah. But anyway, I um, just wanna, for plain, uh, plain comparisons, I'm just going to take the Kingdom Core Class Starscream and compare him with this figure so you can see how the two jets uh, uh, you know compare with each other while the truck mode looks smaller than the kingdom core class Megatron's tank mode uh, the uh, the jet mode is definitely bigger uh, <laughs> this is my tongue sounds working um, the jet mode is definitely bigger than kingdom core class Starscream's jet mode so that's pretty cool um, but yeah nice size right there so yeah I do like that so Anyway, so that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Alrighty, so now that we are done with the jet mode itself, let us transform this guy again into robot mode. So, to get him to robot mode, uh, it's very, very simple. You want to take the wings and bring them out and untab them. And you want to take the wings and untab them, just like that, like so. And you want to take the arms and bring this back all the way. And you rotate this around. So the elbows are under properly and open up this panel and you want to take your nail and just flip out the hands flip out the hands flip out the hands I said flip out the hands flip out the hand flip out 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 thank you thank you <laughs> so do, do that and do the same thing on the other side let's hope it doesn't take too much effort just take this and flip out the hands about hand. Oh no 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 no! Now you want to take so much effort, eh? Hey hey hey! I said flip out, flip out! Hey 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 hey! Don't make me use a screwdriver for this! How dare you, Octane? Octane, thank you. Sheesh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we have the arms all done. So now, gotta split the legs, just like so. Split them like that, like so. And then you know, rotate this around like so, and just bring all this down, and just rotate this back around just like so, and just bring all of this down like so, and just bring this down, 
and we're gonna rotate the feet around just like so. Just bring that up, and there you have a leg all done and ready. So the same thing. Oh wait, you want to take this uh, section right here, just bring, shift that up like so, and there we go. So do the same thing on the other side. Bring this up and rotate that around like so, and just think, bring this down and just rotate that around. There we go, and bring all this down. And there is a tab right here that goes in that slot right there. So just think, bring this down, tap that in, and bring that panel down, and take the foot, rotate that around, bring this up, bring that panel down, and there you have the legs all done. Shift that up, shift that up, there we go. And you have the legs all done and ready, and we can stand them up, just like so. So yeah, we're almost done here, so take the section right here, just unpack them, unpack them like so, and bring this back like so, rotate it around, bring that back, and just feed this through just like so and just rotate that around and just bring all this in just like so and there you go so now you take the head bring this up rotate that head around and just bring this in clip that into place and there we go so now for the backpack you want to rotate this around uh, there is there is a tab right here that goes into the, uh, the slot right there. So just rotate this around until that tab's into place. And just rotate that around. And just bring this back against the back, like so. And do the same thing on the other side. Just rotate that around. Tap that in. And just rotate this. And just bring this down against his back. And I think we're done. Are we done? Are we done? Yes, we're done. Ooh, we are done. So I need to raise up the camera a little bit because you can't really see him. So just bear with me right here. Just, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Now we can see him. Now we can see his beautiful face. There we go. Alrighty. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done with the transformation. That wasn't hard. Yeah, that was actually pretty easy. Nice and smooth. It's enjoyable. So there you have Poison. AKA Octane fully transformed into his robot mood. And yeah, nice and G1y as I like it. So yeah, really, really cool. I like this figure a lot. Yeah, really nicely done. Really nicely done robot mode. Yeah, this is definitely where the figure really shines. It definitely looks like a perfect G1 Octane. I really like it. I really, really dig it. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyway, let's get close here so you can take a look at the head sculpt. Very nice g one Octane head sculpt. I liked it, I like it. Nice white paint in the face, red for the eyes. Yeah, really, really cool. Uh, he does include another accessory. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. So there we go. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. I like it. I really dig the robot mode. Nice and solid. Nothing's loose on my copy, so so yeah, pretty good figure. Pretty, pretty good figure. Very nicely done. Yeah, really nicely done. So now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on the ball joint. He can rotate the pull 360. He can he can look up a little bit. Can can he can look down a little bit. Uh, the shoulders are on the ball joint. He can rotate a full 360. And due to this hinge, he has a butterfly joint right here. So he can swing his arm forward. And you know he can uh, move in and out with his arms. And he does have a very, very stiff bicep swivel. And he has an elbow joint about 90 degrees up bend. And uh, nothing at the wrist due to the way he transforms. And he does have a waist swivel. And you can actually flip up this uh, butt plate right here. And you can flip up this uh, crotch plate a little bit. Uh, to uh, accommodate the leg movement, the legs can move up that far, can move back that far, and you can you can't really do the full splits, you know, which is unfortunate. But oh well, it is what it is. Uh, he does have a uh, a thigh swivel, but it's really really tight on my copy. Uh, he does have a, a ratchet at knee, <laughs> about 90 degrees. A bend like so because you can actually stop the knee joint there. Sure, hey, it's a thing, it's a thing you can do. And he does have a little bit of ankle tiltage right here, or you can just rotate your feet 
at this swivel right here if you want to, so that's pretty cool. And the feet can move down like so, and that is it for the articulation for this figure, and you can position the wings however you want uh, per have them go like that so yeah but anyway so yeah yeah he's pretty poseable he's pretty poseable like that so now, of course he can definitely hold his weapon he can hold his gun just like so and there we go he can uh, shoot things now so <laughs> there we go um, yeah, the one accessory, one other accessory he does include is an extra head. So here is the extra head, which is a screaming face. He's like, ah, there we go. That's what he's doing. He's like, ah, you know, and he was uh, scared when he saw a ghost star scream. <laughs> this is definitely like a, I think they're basically, what they're doing is like being like a masterpiece figure. Like they include an accessory that happened in one episode of the show. So that's pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, you can see uh, the comparison right here. So, and whoops, um, <laughs> you can see the comparison between the two heads. Yeah, one is a screaming face, one is a uh, normal stern face, normal face, normal straight face. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I, I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, to swap out the heads, it's really easy. You know, all you have to do is just undo that screw, um, just take out the head, and then uh, undo that screw again, and just put the head on, and screw it back in, screw, uh, screw that screw back in, and, uh, and there you go, there you have the, uh, there you have the, uh, whoops, I keep dropping the head, like, oh no, I think I lost the head, uh oh, I lost the head, I'll be right back, got it, there you go, <laughs> oh, I keep dropping the head, it's so small, man, my goodness, anyway, so yeah, you can, you know, swap out the heads if you want to, but I'm not gonna use this head, I'm gonna put this in my, uh, treasure chest, I'll use this accessory, so, I'm not gonna use the head, I'm just gonna keep with the, uh, normal stern face, so, there we go. Anyway, so yeah, without further ado, let us bring in a couple of size comparisons. Just because here we have the uh, Mechanic Studio Poison, aka Octane, uh, compared with the uh, Kingdom Core Class Starscream and the Kingdom Core Class Megatron. As you can see, Octane is taller than both Megs and Starscream. <laughs> that ain't right, man. That ain't right. <laughs> Yeah, while the uh, while Octane Struck Mode looks smaller than uh, than than Megatron's Tank Mode, uh, his Jet Mode is bigger than Starscream's Jet Mode, and his Robot Mode is bigger than than the Robot Modes of Starscream and Megatron. How weird the scale works in this. <laughs> yeah, this definitely is not scale accurate. I don't think so. If I were a scale nut. Uh, this guy would have been uh, smaller than Megatron, but A, it's a third party figure, so yeah, it's not by Hasbro, so anyway. Um, uh, yeah, uh, if Hasbro actually does a bigger Octane figure than this, um, like in Legacy, uh, I will definitely get that and compare it with uh, this figure, so yeah. But, um, eh, they kind of look good together, I, I will say. Uh, they they kind of look good together, I mean, eh. Eh, eh, yeah, it, it, it doesn't really match, you know, it doesn't really match in the uh, Wolfram Cybertron style of figure, so, um, yeah, um, but it's a good size comparison right here, so, just want to see how, how his size compares with the, uh, core class figure, so, because core class is technically Legends class, so, yeah, but yeah, but he's definitely a small figure, I will say, he's, uh, he's definitely smaller than the, Lu than the Deluxe, he's smaller than the, uh, Smaller than the uh, 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 the Voyagers, the Leaders, and the Commanders, obviously, and the Titans, obviously. So, yeah. But um, there we go. That is it for the Robot Mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Mechanic Studio. <laughs> I nearly said Transformers. <laughs> yeah. So here are my final thoughts on the Mechanic Studio MS-27 uh, Poison, aka G1 Octane, and. Uh, yeah, he's a pretty cool figure in my opinion. The robot mode looks great um, yeah, for a small figure his, his size. So that yeah, definitely the robot mode really really shines really well. Uh, the the truck mode looks really good in my opinion. Uh, definitely nice and solid. Uh, the jet mode is yeah is where things get 
got really <laughs> wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, the back of the the back of the jet mode was just not not all that clean, and it looked ugly and just new. Uh, I mean, the rest of the jet mode it still looks pretty decent. So yeah, it, the jet mode is not perfect, but it's still pretty decent. You know, yeah, it still looks decent enough. Um, but yeah, the robot mode is definitely where this figure really shines. I really love the robot mode for this figure. Um, very nice and poseable. I really like the articulation for this figure. Really cool. Um, kind of weird how his knees work. Um, it's like his knees are like on the uh, like uh, like on the ratchet. Kinda. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, transformation. Uh, it, it's quite smooth. Uh, transformation uh, from truck to trailer. Uh, yeah, truck to trailer. Truck to jet mode. It's it's actually pretty pretty smooth and enjoyable. Only one, only that one section of the uh, you know just tapping the legs together in jet mode is is kind of an ordeal. But oh well, it is what it is. Um, uh, transforming him from jet to robot is actually pretty easy. So yeah, it's definitely a smooth and enjoyable transformation. So yeah, I will say that this figure is very fun to mess with. And I do like the gun. I really like the gun. I really like the uh, like how it includes the uh, the uh, the uh, optional face right here. So it's definitely cool. So yeah, really really well done figure in my opinion. Definitely has his flaws, but he's still pretty good in my opinion. So uh, if I were to rank this guy from a scale of one to ten, I think I would give this guy a good um, uh, a uh, a nine out of ten. Yeah, he's. Pretty cool. I really like him. I really, really like him. So, um, all right. So that is pretty much it for today's video review. So I did get this figure from a uh, from a shop called My Hobby Toys. Actually, truth be told, when I got this figure, uh, before I got this figure, I was uh, looking at My Hobby Toys, and it actually listed this fig it, actually, it actually listed this figure as Mac Fans to as a Mac Fans Toys figure. But um, but then when I got the figure, it was actually Mechanic Studio. So. I'm a bit confused here, so do I call it Mech Fans Toys or Mechanic Studio? I think I'll just call it Mechanic Studio since the box tells me it's Mechanic Studio, so yeah, okay, it's Mechanic Studio. This is Mechanic Studio, so yeah, this is a, uh, a new mold, not a not a knockoff, so yeah, but anyway, um, if I had the Mech Fans Toys version, then the Mech Fans Toys is the, is the knockoff version, so. But this is the Mechanic Studio version, I do believe, so anyway, so yeah. But anyway, yeah, that is, yeah, that's it, that's it, yeah, that's it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while I add it, click that notification, <laughs> click that notification bell down below, uh, uh, so that you will know when my new videos are up and ready. <laughs> Oh, my tongue. I hate my tongue so, so much. But anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and you can always check out my third party uh, reviews playlist. You can always check out my third party reviews playlist for any videos of me. I missed the post link to that playlist in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Mechanic Studio MS-27 Poison, aka G1 Octane. And this is JJ Bram signing off. Peace out. Yay! Greetings, Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prom Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.